Ready to take to your next classic car show is this beautiful black 1970 Chevy Nova powered by its numbers matching 350 two barrel V8 engine. Motor runs great, the odometer shows 10,000 miles on the odometer, I'm guessing it's just 110,000. This car originally was a gold car with a black bucket seat console interior and that's uh, the interior is exactly that today, uh, four speed black bucket seat all restored interior. This car has had one paint job and it was a color change from the gold to black and this black paint is absolutely show quality laser straight from bumper to bumper. I don't see anywhere on it um, going through the car that uh, shows any other color but black. So beautiful repaint on this super clean 1970 Chevy Nova. As we come to the front bumper, the front bumper has been replaced, the grill has been replaced, the eyebrows around the headlights and stuff have all been replaced, that's in beautiful condition. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll see about 15 to 20 photos of the undercarriage. You'll also see a lot of the suspension and stuff. We've got a lot of new bolts and, and uh, new suspension up front. Brand new battery. Bottom of the hood's all painted nicely. We look at the hood gap on the driver's side, the gap's nice and even from front to back. Passenger side's the same way, just a beautiful fit and finish on the hood of this 1970 Nova. The restorer chose not to make an SS clone out of it, not to put a cowl hood, and just to leave it uh, all original looking. This car did come with a uh, black vinyl top as well. As we come across here to the top of the hood, the paint's in beautiful shape. Don't see any uh, scratches, imperfections, anything like that. There's a little white, uh, just a white buffing compound down in these little vents and stuff that are hard to get out. It has a windshield uh, antenna on the windshield, chrome around the uh, windshield's in nice shape. It's got a beautiful door gap from top to bottom. No bubbles or blisters down here on the lower fender. The paint on the front fender passenger side is gorgeous. Uh, P235 6014s. They're BFGs and they look like almost like new all the way around. Car's all been uh, painted black underneath. The whole chassis's all been done. No bubbles or blisters on the door, lower quarter, rocker. Everything's super nice and clean here on the passenger side. The body side molding is super nice from front to back also. Door handles were replaced during restoration. Chrome around the uh, windows and stuff like that look original, but they're not all scratched up terrible. A few little scratches, but nice shape. Door gap is great. Over the back wheel well, behind the rear quarter, all of that is excellent. No bubbles or blisters. Nice dual exhaust comes out behind the rear wheel. You can see your reflection anywhere in this paint, a beautiful paint job, just a super nice car. Um, when they did the exterior, they also did all new rubbers and stuff in it as well. They did uh, all new door rubbers, the interior was all redone. Corners of the door is perfect. Again, bottom of the door was all painted black. Armrest, door panel, all that's like brand new. Dash pad is great. Seats have all been redone as far as the uh, seat covers. New padding is excellent in the seats. New carpet and scuff plates. We also have the uh, correct seat belts. Paint in the door jam. Like I said, I don't see any gold anywhere in this door jam. Even back here in the fenders, it looks like they must have pulled the fenders when they painted it. As far as our back seat goes, that's been recovered in great shape. Back door panels are nice dome light works. The headliner does have a little and there's no odor or mouse odor anywhere in it. The car smells great but there is just a little bit of a hole over in the passenger or driver's side by the uh, um, seat belt area up there. Open the glove box. The light works in the glove box. 
paint on the dash is nice. It's got the uh, the Nova console, the Muncie uh, shifter. It's got the boot and everything. The shifters are nice shaped. It's got the correct GM seat belts with the correct holders right here. Like I said, this is just a super nice car. AM FM radio. The AM FM Delco does not turn on. It does not work. I don't know what's going on there. The heater fan works. Horn does not work. Wipers work. The squirters work. Headliner above the uh, visors is perfect. There's no mouse damage there at all. Just that one hole is the only thing I see in the headliner, guys. Other than that, headliner's in great shape. Back shelf looks nice. Check out how nice this uh, paint body is. If we look up and down the sides of this Nova, nice straight car, paint super nice. Back bumper's been re chromed as well or replaced. I do have, uh, when we get back to the shop, we've got uh, reverse lights are staying on for some reason. The back panel here has been replaced. looks great or gaps look nice on the trunk lid as we go in here to the vinyl top there's no bubbles or blisters over here in the vinyl top it's nice and solid top looks good back window looks good no bubbles or blisters in the rear quarter anywhere Tires in the back are 235, uh, 235 60s as well. Uh, we look at the top side of the quarter. Don't see any imperfections there. Like I said, you can shave in the finish of this car. Beautiful finish. New handle door fits beautifully if you look through here it doesn't stick out at all check out that body line right down here really nice gap this is just a super nice tight 70 nova i'm guessing the uh, restore started with a you know obviously a, a numbers matching 70 nova that's just in great shape and uh put a gorgeous paint job and did a nice job on it mechanically as well I don't see any chips or scratches, anything like that in the fender door. All the new stickers here. Door panel, armrest, all that's in excellent shape. Seat cover's great, there's no rips or tears, jams are nice. Seat backs are in great shape. No scratches or nothing on the new seat backs. It's a good look of our uh, back seat area. I do not see any seat belts unless they're tucked in. I do not see seat belts in the back. But it's got the floor mats in the front and back, and the front seat belts are there. Uh, corner of the door, driver's side, excellent. Um, when they restored it, the steering wheel is in beautiful condition. The uh, gauge cluster odometer shows 10,000 miles, 10,240. Uh, gauge cluster looks really nice. Plastic looks great around the radio and stuff. Just a really nice car. As we look out across the hood, I mean, the paint on the hood is just, you can see the reflection of all the trees out there. Just lines up beautifully across the top of the fender too. This Nova does not have power steering, but I'll tell you what, it steers super nice and easy. It has a nice tight, uh, tight steering as well.
hear any uh, exhaust rattles, nothing like that. gets with the program it might just be a 350 stock 350 uh, two barrel but I'll tell you what it doesn't miss a beat runs and drives down the road nice and again our steering is nice and tight on it down shifts right to third second first four speed feels good synchros feel good Here's our brakes, absolutely no pull left or right. I mean, this is just not only a beautiful car, paint-wise and interior, but mechanically, what a super nice Nova. As I went through the gears, you know, obviously no hands on the steering wheel when I'm shifting, and, uh, goes down the road nice and straight, doesn't wheel hop, speedometer works, 65 mile an hour, goes nice down the road. I think you guy could fly in and drive this thing anywhere you want to go.